I'm going back to a topic I dealt with in a recent video, that of luminous fast blue optical transients, or LF bots, because there's been an interesting and puzzling development. To recap, LF bots are extremely high energy events like supernovae, but that brighten and dim much faster than supernovae and reach a much higher peak luminosity. For a few minutes or hours, they can outshine a hundred galaxies like our own, yet appear to involve an object as small as a star. Only seven LF bots have been reported since the first in 2018. Most lie in galaxies that are hundreds of millions of light years away, and astronomers are still trying to figure out what they are. Among the leading ideas are that they're failed supernovae, stars collapsing into a black hole or neutron star before they can explode or intermediate mass black holes consuming stars in so-called tidal disruption events. The first LF bot to be found was given the designation AT2018COW and for obvious reasons was dubbed the cow. All such objects discovered since have been given animal nicknames based on the last three letters in their official names. In September 2022, astronomers detected AT2022 TSD and quickly called it the Tasmanian Devil. This new beast of the cosmos, more than 3 billion light years distant, brightened in a matter of minutes to outshine our entire local group of galaxies. But that wasn't the end of the matter. A team of astronomers has now reported that the Tasmanian Devil flashed brilliantly again in December 2022, and then again and again a total of 14 times over a 120-day period, each event lasting only minutes. Repeated flashes like this haven't been seen before in LF bots. Each of the flares was as bright as the original. Clearly, an immensely powerful astrophysical process is at work, but it can't be a one-off explosion, like an ordinary supernova. And, because of how quickly the activity rises to a maximum and fades again, it must take place in a relatively small volume. This repeated flashing adds credence to the failed supernova idea. A star about 20 times the mass of the Sun running out of nuclear fuel and collapsing, leaving a neutron star or black hole inside the remains of the surrounding star. These flashes seen from the Tasmanian Devil would then be coming from either a neutron star or a black hole that was formed in the original LF bot event. If the collapsed object at the center of the LF bot had powerful jets of energy firing from its poles, it could explain the flaring. These jets would fire out into space as the object spun around, and if they repeatedly pointed in our direction, could explain the behavior of the Tasmanian Devil. Further observations of the flares would offer a way to work out the mass of the object that's causing them. Because of the finite speed of light, how quickly the flares vary is related to the size of their source. The faster the variation, the smaller the source and therefore you'd expect the lower the mass. If the mass comes out to be in the 10 to 100 solar mass range, then a failed supernova is likely the culprit. On the other hand, if the mass is more like 10,000 solar masses, we may be looking at an intermediate mass black hole. The Vera C. Rubin Observatory, currently under construction in Chile, and scheduled to begin a survey of the universe next year, is expected to uncover many more LF bots, and at an earlier stage in their development. With its 8-meter survey telescope, it'll be a valuable new tool for astronomers in their quest to understand the nature of these enigmatic outbursts. <laughs>